Today, we're diving into one of the most legendary aircrafts ever to grace the skies. The SR-71 Blackbird. This isn't just any jet. This is a hypersonic, stealthy, record-shattering marble that revolutionized the way we think about aviation. Let's start with the basics. What is the SR-71 Blackbird? Well, this piece is a high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft that was built by Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works Division. It first flew in 1964, and for nearly three decades, it was the U.S. Air Force's ultimate surveillance tool, flying at speeds that could leave enemy radar systems in the dust. We're talking speeds over 2,200 miles per hour, or a Mach 3.2 three times the speed of sound. And it wasn't just fast, it was smart too. With its stealthy design and high altitude capabilities, it was nearly impossible to shoot down. Now, when you think of a plane that fast, you might picture something like a rocket or a fighter jet. But the SR-71 wasn't just fast, it was a master of evasion. It didn't have to outrun enemy missiles. It would simply fly so high and so fast that no missile or fighter jet could catch it. Imagine this, you're sitting in a cockpit flying 85,000 feet in the air. That's over 16 miles above the ground, nearly at the edge of space. And you're doing Mach 3, just casually cruising along. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it was reality and the Blackbird made it happen. But what makes this jet even cooler is how it was built to push the boundaries of technology and design. The SR-71 was a masterpiece of engineering, constructed with materials that could withstand the heat generated by those insane speeds. The fuselage was made of titanium, a material so tough it was difficult to machine, and it was often sourced from the Soviet Union. Yes, the very enemy they were spying on, because American manufacturers didn't have enough of it. And then there's the pilot. Flying an aircraft like the SR-71 wasn't just for anyone. These pilots were truly adventurous, and they were extremely highly trained, skilled professionals. They had to manage not just the extreme speed and altitude, but also a unique set of challenges, like ensuring the engines didn't flame out due to the airspeed, or that they could keep the plane cool while speeding through the upper atmosphere. One of the most famous Blackbird pilots was Colonel Ed Payne, who flew the SR-71 for more than 3,000 hours. Payne was a part of a small, elite group of pilots who pushed the boundaries of aviation to the absolute edge. Flying the Blackbird wasn't just about operating a machine, it was about understanding the very limits of what humans could do in the sky. They had to think fast, trust their instincts, and work with a crew that sometimes had to rely on each other more than they relied on technology. In fact, many of the pilots joked that the best way to survive a mission was to trust the jet, because at those speeds, there wasn't time to second guess. But it wasn't just about flying fast and high. The SR-71 was a surveillance king, equipped with sophisticated cameras and sensors. It could gather intelligence from staggering distances. It could fly over enemy territory at incredible speeds, capture detailed images, and be gone before anyone even knew it was there. In fact, the Blackbird was so fast that it could outrun any threats and it became a legend for its reconnaissance mission during the Cold War. The Blackbird was retired in 1989 due to political reasons and several were briefly reactivated before their second retirement in 1998. NASA used the famed plane as a research platform until it was retired again in 1999. But its legacy still lives on. It holds the record for the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft ever to fly, and the information it gathered helped shape the future of intelligence and surveillance technology. So, what makes the SR-71 Blackbird truly extraordinary? It wasn't just the technology, the speed, or the daring pilots. It was the spirit of innovation. In the 1960s, this plane redefined what was possible in aviation, and it did it with a style and finesse that we're still in awe of today. The SR-71 Blackbird was, 
without a doubt, the aircraft that changed everything. So next time you hear a jet flying overhead, just remember, there was once a jet that flew so fast, it became a legend before anyone even knew it was there. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the bell for more amazing stories from the world of aviation. Until next time, keep flying high. This is Space Extra, out.